Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to a special edition of Indie Invasion for our patrons only. Hopefully we'll have some very soon. <laughs> this will encourage some people. So, yeah, hopefully this will encourage some people. So welcome. As usual, I have Eric with me. And Eric, what do you have that we are doing this video for, sir? So, okay. So in the past, we've done an unboxing and we're doing another unboxing of one of my orders that we've mentioned on our regular podcast. Uh, me and Mac were waiting for some orders and he got his already, his, his Twilight order. Yeah. Uh, and I finally got my, took two months, but I got my Burrows and Badgers yes. order from, from all the way from the UK. So, and, and we would have done a Twilight unboxing, but I am not nearly as patient as Eric. I had yeah, to open my box wait. right away and put everything together and start painting it. How long have you had the box? So I've had this for a couple of days, just a yes. couple of days. Never happen at my house. Never. Not like I'll be lucky to make it from the mailbox to the house without at least peeling back a corner to see what's in there. <laughs> so we're going to go ahead and bust it open, go over everything that I got in this order. And we've talked about this game a little bit on the show. Well, here's a way for us to show you guys uh, that are Patreon backers. You can see what is involved in getting into the game. Because I basically just kind of very basic got like, you know, a couple things to get me started. So a couple, a couple, a, cu a couple, a couple. Those listening may have a different view of what a couple represents. You'll find out in a minute. <laughs> okay, so we'll go ahead and we'll go ahead down so you guys can get a good look at everything. All right, let's go ahead and do that. And I haven't even started this Mac, so you haven't even started it. I haven't even started opening it. It's sealed still. Not even, no peeking. No peeking. That would never happen for me. So, yeah, it, it, it got a little bit of a, a dent there, like it got dropped. Not like yours, though. No, that one's in much better shape than my Twilight box was. My Twilight box uh, was rough. Uh, I barely even had to open it, and it just kind of disintegrated in my hands. But nothing was missing from the box, so yeah, that's that's good. That's lucky. I'm always nervous when like this came from the UK. I'm always nervous when I order stuff from overseas, another country, because yeah. they just have different methods of their shipping and stuff. So, like you know, we've gotten stuff from there that has like no packing in it. It's just cardboard. Yeah, yeah. Oh my and gosh. and some of these smaller companies too don't really have packaging per se, for their models, so they just come in a baggie or something like that. So we're fortunate, I was fortunate to get everything intact. Uh, however, Mike, the owner of Twilight Chronicles of Anurol, the game, I have no doubt in my mind that if anything had fallen out of the box, he would have readily replaced it for me. I don't, I don't have any doubt about that. Yeah, that's the nice thing about the independent guys. You know, they're really... They're really good about, you know, um, you know, the customer service. Oh, yeah. Most definitely. Let's see. Right. You're killing me, man. Oh, Come oh, on. Oh, oh, oh. oh, look at that. Look at that. That's nice. So I didn't know. Wow, this is a nice little collector box. Yes, it is. I like got old, one of those myself. It's like a pencil holder type box. Yeah, it's pretty heavy duty, too. It's not uh, dollar store quality not to bust on dollar store you know, I mean, dollar tree's got some good stuff too but it's it's pretty good quality and you're welcome oath sworn holy cow oh, thank you so yeah that's a nice little box we'll, we'll dive into minis in a little bit let me yeah they packed it really good yeah well i'm happy they did because i ended up getting the rule book. So I, I started off with the rule book, so I kind of know where to begin. Um, we'll get this box out of the way. And the circus peanuts. Circus peanuts. Yeah, so the reason I got the, uh, the rule book off their website is because it, it comes with uh, kind of one of his, like a free mini, yeah. and they gave me like an exclusive scenario to run run the game with so 
Well, so far, so good. The packaging is really good. That's yeah, it. yeah. That's actually like good bubble wrap. Yeah. But here we go. So there's the rule book. And Everything I need to get started. There you go. And this is uh, printed. Uh, this is from Osprey Miniatures. They're the yep. guys that put the book out. But the game is by Michael Lovejoy at Oathsworn Miniatures. And for those of you that follow us at all, you will know that we've mentioned that name several times. And now I'm a little jealous because I do not have that scenario because I Ooh, got my book like a, elsewhere. That's a nice card stock too. Oh, nice. Scenario mouse hunt. Mouse hunt. That just sounds fun. Give you a special rule, some ideas for terrain. The special mouse. Yeah. Secondary objectives, ending the game. So everything right there. Yeah. To play that special scenario and nice, that's right. one of the neat things with this game right is you can do these one-off scenario straight yep. up games or uh the campaign is yep. what drew me to the game yeah. now you'll notice i noticed this about my book eric is in the upper right corner of every page is a little tiny line that looks like the book has been dog-eared <laughs> and when i first got mine i was like who, who who folded my book page? Because yeah. I, I can't I can't stand that. I'm I'm a, I'm a little bit of a book Nazi. Yeah, that's a neat touch in the the pages, the the coloring. I don't know if we can see it very well in the camera, but it's kind of got that uh, aged, yeah, paper tone, a little yellowed. Kind of neat. It's a very well done book, and I I do enjoy a paperback book, but I'm I'm always I I prefer a hardcover. And this one's a hardcover, so. And yeah. I have mine behind me on my book of, or my shelf of, the shelf of many books. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this will this will get added to the rule book shelf. Oh, yeah. Um, very nice book. Lots of nice, I like, it's got the colorful pictures. Yep. Paper quality is really good. Um, but, yeah, this, you know, you got... The little anapomorphic characters. We actually just talked about this game in our recent episode. Yes, we did. Um, we did. That if you like the fantasy type thing but want something a little bit different, well, you can play with foxes and otters and yep. your favorite, the shrews. Yes, I love the shrews. Yeah, it's a very it's a nicely laid out rule book. Uh, it's pretty easy to follow. I've read through it. I haven't had an opportunity to get a game yet, but it, it's pretty intuitive rule book things are broken down nicely mm -hmm. scenario section in the back rules towards the front just giving you a basis of the game and then some of the fluff interspersed in there the armadillo i like that picture yeah but yeah and i like in the the back he has this appendix so yep. it just goes over all the different charts and your you know your roster sheet which to me is very rpg like which is yes. neat yes Although I got to say, I favor a card. Uh, that's my personal preference. I, th I believe one of the guys in the group did a um, fillable card that you can print if you if you prefer that. I'm a card okay. guy, so. Put in like a top loader. Yep. All right. Let's I'm betting that. that one right there on the top is your exclusive mini. Yeah. Boy, they really. They had a tape for this sucker. But it's been so long. It's been two months, maybe more than two months. I don't remember what this uh, model is. Yeah, I don't know because I did not. I already had my rule book when I placed the order because I got it uh, from someone in the States. I, I can't remember who. It was an eBay seller store, but I don't remember who it was. Oh, it was just bases. Oh, just, oh, we got all excited over all the bases. Well, there you go. There's some bases for you. And I haven't decided if I'm going to do these or if I'm going to do clear bases like you do, Mac. Yeah, I did the clear ones. And I also downsized them a little bit because they had some of the – he has some of the hairs on 40-millimeter bases. And I just aesthetically, when I looked at it, it was like the base was huge to the model. And I, I didn't prefer it, so I downsized everybody's base. So I put my shrews on 20s. I put my medium models on 30s and my large models on 40s. Just because that, just my preference. Because I, 
the people that I play with are going to play narrative games and they're not really going to care about base size anyway. Yeah. So. Yeah. And this, this, this game kind of seems like the type of game that you can come up with your own scenarios oh, fairly yeah. easy. Um, and maybe if, if the narrative they have built into the game isn't enough for you, well, it's, it's, it's got that, you know, that classic Dungeons and Dragons feel. You can come up with your own thing. Oh, yeah. Come up with stats for a big, you know, ugly monster to have these oh, guys. Absolutely. Fight. Absolutely. It's, uh, it, it's kind of funny because it's a little bit of a fantasy game because obviously you have anthropomorphic animals, but there aren't any monsters per se. Yeah. In D &D, but you could easily do that. So, yeah, that's just a couple there, Eric. That's a couple. Just got a couple. Generally, a couple is, you know, two. Well, so this is look like two. You got to get enough to have two war bands because oh. that's how you get people to play with you. Oh, I got you. Oh, I, wait, I think I understand what happened. That's one bag. <laughs> that's one bag. Okay, I got you now. I, now I understand. Okay. So. Who do we have first? So let's start off with, I like this stuff. So this is a, a magic user. This is a mage. And it is, let's see, my hand behind it. We got there. Oh, I, it's not clear yet, but I know what it is. Let me try slower. I'm going too fast, probably. Your focus need more focus. Oh, come on. I know what it is. Trying to get the camera. Come on, you can there do it. There it goes. Yes, the snake. So what do they call these guys? The rattlers or? Oh, the snakes. I, I'm not sure what they're referred to as, but it's one of the shamans, magic users. Yeah, that's neat. He's, he's wrapped around the little the yeah. magic staff. Is a distinct disadvantage in the world. Opening doors is not easy for him. Yeah. <laughs> if he's carrying his staff. But it's like the, like the model for him in particular it reminds me of like the old classic Disney cartoons like Jungle Book. Yeah, Ka. Um, yeah, Ka. It, all the personality of an actual regular character, but he still is just a snake. Well, now you have to paint him that way. Yeah, probably will. <laughs> well, yeah, there's one. Nice. I look forward to killing him on the field of battle. Oh. <laughs> Don't worry. If you're playing against me, it probably won't happen. <laughs> okay, and this one I got. This is one of the uh, the moles. Oh, yes. I love that one. The friar. And he, he just, he, it made me laugh. Yeah, he's awesome. Because I got to figure out a way that I can give him the little friar, you know, hairdo. Does Maybe sand down sculpted? the top of his head a little bit. So it's, oh, yeah. And I, I, one of the things too I like about this game is that all the miles, this is it. One piece. Yes. Yes. And primarily metal. So I got a whole bunch of them. And the only one that was resin that I got was the slave badger. That's okay. the only one that was resin. Everything else was metal. I'll be interested to see your bulldog. I believe he's metal. Yeah, he's. He's in there. I see him. You see him. You can't wait to get to him, can you? Yeah, that was the one that got me to get into this, yeah. I think. So here's, this is, I nice. think she is a, uh, like, more or less like a mercenary, but she's a, a raccoon that's very Native American looking. Nice. She's, I did you know, not. So, so far, I didn't get anything that you have. So far. Yeah, I tried to get a nice variety of the different animals just to see how they paint up and stuff. I kind of went, I, I got the special guys, but I kind of went thematically with the wow. ferrets and the... Uh, this guy's, now this guy's got some weight to him. Yeah, I have the, him. The little turtle. Yes. The original Teenage Mutant centurion turtle <laughs> centurion turtle and i like the fact that see they molded up on a cape on him but they wanted to show off his his turtle yeah. you know shell which is cool because that right there just has so many painting possibilities yeah. depending yeah. you know what kind of turtle you want them yep but yeah the details too are just incredible for yeah, you yeah they're very well sculpted and you'll notice too 
very little flashing, very few mold lines. Man, that guy's got some weight to him. Yeah, he does. All right. I, you might have this one. I think so this I, is because I got I, I got all of the hairs and the rabbits because I, I like them. Yeah, I have him. I believe I already have him painted as well. Yeah, I like the the personality. You know, he's got an eye patch on. He's like the the haggard captain of the guard kind of thing. Been around for a while. And I like that they they kind of had the models. Let me grab the mole. If you look at the models together, yeah, they're very to scale too, which is kind of neat. Yeah, I did read. I was on the Facebook page today, and someone was asking a question. Um, just general questions about animals that existed, regular pack animals, work animals, and things that existed within the world of burrows and badgers, and they don't really exist per se, but he was talking about how you could, quote unquote, there's legends of bears and things like that that would be giant, like giants and ogres. Okay. So That would be neat. Yeah. That is Sparrow? One yep. of the Sparrow. Sparrow. Um, He's one of the smaller models in the game, um, but I, I think it's just a neat, it looks like a neat model to paint. Oh, yeah. You know, because he's got a hood on. He's got a shield. He's got, you know, a little sword strapped to his back. Yeah. Now, this unboxing video is going to make me find, is going to make me finish the rest of my burrows and badgers because I'm like, oh, I got to paint some more. Support, mini support, right? <laughs> mini support. Okay, what do we got here? Oh, you copied that. me. I saw I got, that one. I got your favorite one. Yeah. God, look how tiny he is. He is so little. The shrew zerker, the berserker shrew. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, that is so funny. And I will say, too, uh, for everybody listening, is I have found them to be um, – now, I'm no pro painter by any stretch of the imagination, but I've found them to be similar to pulp miniatures. And I know this sounds kind of crazy, but what I mean is in painting them. They paint very quickly. They're not overly loaded with detail but they are overly loaded with character. So they actually paint up pretty quick. A couple of the night models that have tabards on and things like that, obviously you'd spend a little bit more time on layering or draw, painting any kind of patterns or anything. But for the most part, they paint up really quickly. Okay, so this is another mole. This is the mole blacksmith. Oh yeah, man, that is a big old hammer. Yeah, one I think is neat is he comes separately that you can put on a base with him, his anvil. Oh, nice. Now, I do like the, I like the moles too. So I almost got all the moles because, not going to lie, I really like the little models, <laughs> the shrews and the, I didn't, I didn't get any mice either though. So maybe since you have the moles, I'll go the mouse, mouse route. Yeah, I, I think I only got maybe one or two. One was with the deal with getting the rule book on their website. Right. Um, yep, here's the one that I got with the rule book. By the way, that is definitely not a couple models you have lined up. A couple models. Just a couple. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> now, this so, is yeah, a special got, mouse? It's a little, like, mouse rogue. And this is the, the exclusive one? Yeah. I, okay. I think you can get him by himself, but he was, I think it's not exclusive, but he was like a freebie that gotcha. they throw in with getting the rule book. All right. Well, if you like this guy, fellow, folks that are listening, that's how you get it. Order the rule book directly from oath sworn miniatures and you will get this cool looking guy right here yeah you get him and then you get that scenario that we looked at when i opened the book that's a nice i like that little model very very full of character all right Definitely what do we got here oh yeah that's right i couldn't pass this shrew yeah one. i couldn't this either one? this one just made me laugh yes the knight errant shrew on a beetle yeah <laughs> I, I love his full, full like, knight armor. He's got the flag, you know. He's got his banner. Well, he has got to be in full plate. His steed is in full plate. Yeah. That's hilarious. I mean, this is going to be a fun one to paint. Um, like, you can use the uh, the metallic paints they have, the color shift paints on yes. the beetle. Yeah, I think that's what I'm going to use on the beetle. I've already put my base coat of black on him. 
because I uh, learned this doing a little bit of reading up on those. The color shifts actually work a whole lot better over a block. <laughs> and look at him next to a turtle. He's still tidy. He could take him. He could take him. <laughs> oh, it cracks me up. Man, you got a lot of stuff in there. You, no. You, yeah, no. you do. I'm not yeah, sure why you knew what you had in there. Oh, you got the bat, didn't you? Yeah, I got one of them. There's two uh, on there. So they have they I think they have a a magic user. And then this guy I think is I think he's like they call him an assassin. Okay. But he's he's doing the classic Dracula pose. Right. Well of course he is. He's a bat. Blah blah blah. Blah blah blah. You probably have to say that every time you put him on the board. Oh yeah, I will. You know <laughs> I will. Yeah. So that'd be he's he's cute. That's why I couldn't help myself saying that a lot of these models are just, they're kind of yeah. cute. Like this one just kind of makes me laugh too. How many times do you see a platypus? Oh yeah, I've got my platypus all painted up. He's awesome. And he's like, he's got the boomerang. And just uh, He's kind of like a barbarian. Yeah. I think that's what he's supposed to be. Yep. He is fantastic. My only complaint, and my only complaint about these models is purely because of how I base mine on clear bases, is I'm not yeah. a fan of integrated bases because they are, they're a hassle to cut off. But, I mean, if that's the only complaint I've got for them, as you can see, you haven't had a single piece of flashing on any of these models. No. Yeah, these are going to be nice, easy. Oh, my God, I can't get him out of here. Such a dynamic pose on this oh, one. Oh, yeah. So I love fox models in general and there's quite a few in this game i had a hard time i wanted to get one to de to see what it looked like and decide but look at the sculpt they have his oh, yeah. tail worked into his pose yep and I, I can't remember what this one's name exactly is but i was looking at so many of them and i just i fell in love with this pose yeah, that's a nice model. And again, no flashing. And typically, you'll see flashing on the end of gun barrels. Yeah. Just, just a little tiny piece. Yeah, not a big deal. Easy to clean up. But just the fact that you don't see any. And just... Good, very good casting. Yeah, the sculpt of his cloak. You know, it's got some nice folds. It's not just generically made. Yep. It really kind of... Uh, expresses that that flow that movement yeah, shows that movement yep all right and then i think i yeah, know so i got a nice variety is. of animals just to see what the different yeah. animals were like i think i know what that one is yeah, this one's got some weight to it yes yeah. that's the frog isn't it <laughs> that's awesome i mean it's got like a skull of a something on its head well, yeah, if you were a big old frog like that, you'd have a skull on your head, too. Battle croak. Yeah. This would be neat to... Yeah, it's... It's going to be neat to paint these as yeah. animals, you know, with their, their coats and stuff, but then you're putting real-world weapons or, or yep. you know, medieval outfits on them. Yeah, awesome. I've had I've had a lot of fun painting mine and honestly because they're you threw the word out there cute, they are it's it's easy to put bright colors on them. Mm -hmm. It's really easy. I don't feel like I'm painting my when I'm painting stuff for zombie games, nobody's wearing bright colors. When you're painting stuff that's grim dark, nobody's wearing bright colors. You know what I mean? So it's kind of refreshing to do that. Yeah. That looks like you have some resin, huh? I got these last two are resin, and I can't get into a game called Burrows and Badgers without getting at least one badger. There you go. There well, you this go. is a uh, badger shaman or mage. Okay. I have the slave badger who is with, that comes with the slaver shrew. Now, how exactly the shrew managed to capture the badger, I don't know, but he did. <laughs> Probably from the uh, shrew, shrew zerker. Uh, perhaps the shrew zerker that's true oh this is a really nice even for resin yeah i yeah. i can't even oh there it is took me a while to find it the mold lines but even that the yeah. uh the resin quality is actually really good it's not that 
there's that really light gray resin that some companies use that's kind of brittle. It's not yeah. matte. It's just a little brittle. Uh, and I, I think being single piece models also contributes to the resin quality just based on the fact that you don't have, it's easier to get things touching each other so that they have some support. Wow. I am surprised this is one piece. Oh yeah. The bulldog night. That's just awesome. I did not get a single dog model. I'm going to have to rectify this that. This is the only one I got. And for reasons that this was our, our old dog we had was a bulldog. So right. I'm going to paint this up like her. Um, but just, this is the model that I was like, Oh, I need that one. Nice. Very. And I have seen in the Facebook group, lots of really good paint jobs on them. That's one of those models that you can spend that extra time on because he's got the tabard. So you're doing all of the, uh, the heraldry and stuff. Oh yeah. The Zerker could definitely take him. Let's go. Let's go. Cut his, <laughs> cut his toes off. <laughs> actually the shield is bigger than him he probably does the neutering actually <laughs> <laughs> oh man so there was what i ordered just a few models oh now we've gone from a couple to a few so this is so what this is is this is about i don't know what i got here 15 60 models but this is basically enough to give me uh to build two war bands right so I can, you know, and the nice thing is you don't have to use like say a full nine. I could just right. use four of these if I want. Sure. Um, and just decide what kind of war band do I want to to build. So and they're beautiful models, so you could easily use them in Rangers of Shadow Deep. You could use them in Frostgrave. You could use them in any fantasy setting that you really wanted to because they're really beautiful sculpts and. There is a surprisingly large number of models available. Uh, it is not, if you're just getting into the game, it is not one you're going to jump in and go, I'm just going to buy everything. Unless you're ready to drop a pretty penny because there's a lot of different models. Uh, yeah, I think there was like over 10 pages of models. And it's like, I remember when we first started kind of looking at this and I made a list up. It's just like I had three pages of like, I want this model, this model, this model. And then I added up realistic and I'm like, I will be in the doghouse. Yeah. <laughs> we got about the same number of models and I think we only have three, maybe four that are the same. So that gives you a little bit of an idea of how many different models there are. So for instance, you have the one rabbit. Well, I have, I think five rabbits and hares over in my collection so there's a whole bunch of different ones yeah, and you got a lot of otters and did you get the weasels too i did i got the so i kind of that that was as i was looking through everything that was the way i wanted to build my war band so i got a bunch of shrews to have a shrew war band and then what i was thinking to be my normal not thematic shrew war band was going to be the, the weasels and the otters and the rabbits and hares that was kind of the idea I was going for because I liked the way that they looked because the weasels have some fantastic poses. I, I just, I really like the way that they look. The weasel family, um, they're just a lot of cool models. A lot of cool models. All right. We can uh, go back up so we can say goodbye to everybody. We are up and well, that's, that's all we got. Eric, you want to close us out since you are the professional burrow and badger a skirmish game by oath sworn miniatures guy for the night since you finally got your box you got a lot of paint catch up to do just saying yeah yeah <laughs> but uh yeah this was just something we wanted to do for our patreon um page for the the podcast indian invasion you guys um if you're watching this it's because you're a patron and we wanted to thank you guys and it's something that you guys can also help with is if it if you like what we're doing me and mac you know focusing on the independent games you know reach out to us give us you know maybe something that caught your eye that you're interested in and another thing that could probably help us the most is you know tell a friend about the show yep. to, to tune in listen see if they you know like the independent you know small uh narrative type games and um yeah, point them, point them in our direction, and that'll help us out. And then, you know, we could keep putting out content for you guys to 
eat up. Like, just like me and you, we, we can't get enough. We got to eat it up. Can't get so, enough of them. Can't but that's going to do it for this special video, you guys. Thanks a lot for watching and tuning into the show and supporting us. Um, and we'll go ahead and do our sign off, Mac, with you want to do it? Oh, uh, please. You have the Transformer shirt on. I think that takes precedence over Guns N' Roses. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so when you guys are out there playing all these very cool independent games, remember to prepare for the invasion. This is Eric saying, make it easy, guys. See you later, guys. Mm -hmm.